Welcome to Lucari's Quest, the journey of ancient mysteries and secrets. Let us join Lucari. As he walks down an ancient path, guided by his curiosity. Lucari had always been fascinated by the stories of his ancestors. Today, he felt a strong pull to explore the old paths, searching for something he couldn't yet name. He arrives at a hidden grove where an old weathered stone with ancient carvings sits in the center. He kneels beside it, tracing the carvings with his fingers. Nkari said to himself, These symbols, I've seen them before in Papa's stories. Could this be the place he was talking about? Suddenly, the wind rustles the leaves and a voice, soft yet firm, calls out, Nkari, my son, you found it, the place where the stories of Mfam and Ejigam come to life. Nkari looks up, surprised, as Ada Ita steps into the grove, his presence bringing a sense of calm and wisdom. Ada Ita sits on a large stone, and Nkari sits beside him, eager to learn. Long ago, Ada Ita begins. Before the land was divided, our people knew the true meaning of Mfam, it's more than just a word. It's the essence of who we are. Mfam is the people, the masses. Mfam is the root for family, hamlet, home. Mfam is the world of people. It's the bond that ties us together, no matter how far we are separated. Nkari, intrigued, asks, but Papa, if Mfam means unity, why do we also talk about the division of families? Ada Ita nods, that's where the mystery of Ejagam comes in, Nkari. The word Ejagam holds the story of our people's journey, their division and reunion. Ada Ita gestures to the ancient carvings, depicting scenes of migration, separation, and eventual reunion. Ada Ita begins, in English, the word Jag means to cut into uneven pieces, and ham comes from mafam, meaning family or peoples. When you combine these with the old English word gam, which means come, Ejagam tells the story of how our ancestors were divided across the earth, only to come together again in unity. This land, Nkari, is the birthplace of that journey, the place where the families of the earth were divided and where they will reunite. So, Papa, our name, Ejagam, is like a map of our history, showing where we began and how we'll find our way back to each other, says Nkari. Ada Ita, smiling proudly, replies, Yes, Monoma, it's a name that carries the weight of our past and the hope for our future. It reminds us that no matter how far we may wander, we are always connected by the ties of Mfam. Nkari realized that the stories of his people were not just tales of the past, but living memories carved into the very earth beneath his feet. The name Ajagam was a testament to their resilience, their journey, and their unbreakable bond. Nkari, reflecting aloud, says, Papa, I understand now. Mvam and Ejigam are more than just words. They are the story of who we are and where we come from. And it's up to you, Nkari, to carry these stories forward, to keep the spirit of Mvam alive in the hearts of our people. Ada Ita replies. Nkari and Ada Ita walk back through the ancient path, side by side, the grove fading into the distance as they return to the present, carrying the weight of their history with them. As Nkari walked beside his grandfather, he felt a deep connection to the land and the stories it held. He knew that the journey of Ejigam was far from over and that he too was a part of its unfolding story.